We've been exploring some beautiful state parks in Central Florida, but we don't seem to have much luck avoiding rainy weather. We're checking out the history-rich and huge Lake Kissimmee State Park. Can we beat the rain and get in some exploration as we check another state park off our list? We're hoping to find some great scenery and wildlife. Join us today to see what we find. I have no idea what is making that noise. Alrighty, we're at Lake Kissimmee State Park. It's another Florida state park. We are gonna do the Gobbler Ridge Trail, which is just under three miles. I think we'll see a little bit of the lake and hopefully some wildlife. Let's go. Florida was known for its cattle industry before any other state, including Texas. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived in Florida in the early 1500s, they brought with them a small herd of cows and horses that are today commonly known as Florida cracker cows and cracker ponies. When the United States acquired Florida in 1821, there was an abundance of these wild cracker cows. Cow hunters would go into the wilds to catch and mark cattle. They could be gone for weeks at a time, traveling from cow camp to cow camp. Today the park features a cow camp where you can travel back in time to 1876 if you visit on a Saturday between November and March. You'll find a Florida cow hunter within the route of the old cattle drive, cooking, making coffee, and tending to the cattle. So, it's over 5,000 acres. We might see bald eagles, snail kites, which I don't know what they are, sandhill cranes, which are cool, maybe more scrub jays, wild turkeys, fox squirrels, gopher tortoises, bobcats, and white-tailed deer. Well, this is a first. I don't think I've ever been to a state park where I've run across a tree decorated for Christmas out in the middle of nowhere. Steve, should we open the presents? <laughs> I don't know. Is your name on it? Uh, let me look. What do you think is in that? There's two, one for each of us. Oh, an armadillo. Look. I've never seen one in the wild. You see him? Yep. Oh man, I missed him. Just though. missed him. <laughs> Little armadillo crossing the road. Hey Audra, guess what? We're on an easy trail again. <laughs> so about here is where we saw the armadillo from the tower. We've never seen one in the wild before. It's too bad he went off into the tall grass. It'd be really fun to see him close up. Maybe we'll spot another one. So it makes sense that it's so quiet out here. It took us, what, over 10 minutes from the main entrance just to get in to the parking area for the trails. So we're away from the main roads, out in the Florida wild. It's a bit of an overcast day today, but that's probably pretty good. Otherwise, we'd be 
getting burned in the sun. Well, we were warned by some fellow hikers that it was kind of wet both directions on the trail. It's a bummer because we can see the lake in the background up there ahead. And now it's muddy here, so we'll have to see if we can get through this area or not. What's the verdict? Well, I ran the calculations and I don't think it's worth getting our foots wet. In muddy messes? That's a bummer. I don't feel like we have great luck with uh, Central Florida State Parks. Okay, well, we <laughs> might be a little too wet up here. I might have to concede defeat. Dang it. So close to the lake. I don't think there's any, uh, getting through this. Well, I think I have to concede defeat. Bummer. So were my calculations correct? Yes. It's all swamped up there. And it's starting to rain. Ah! I'm definitely deducting a van from my rating. State parks should not have rain or flooded trails. It's all their fault. Save yourself. We headed back to the parking area and found some shelter under the camp store's back porch with a view of the marina that connects to Lake Kissimmee. I have no idea what is making that noise. I'm gonna go see if I can get a closer look. Okay, it is an owl. Probably be hard to see, but he's dead center of the screen. That is super cool. Well, we're back in the van, having some sandwiches. It's raining out, so I think that's gonna do it for this trip. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us and seeing some of Florida State Parks.